Alternator Man here. Uh, this uh, little series about GM 10SI brush holder loading. Uh, this is the General Motors Delco Remy 10SI series alternator. One of the most popular alternators in the world and actually a very good little alternator. This was first used in about 1971 on Corvettes and really came into full use by, uh, by 1972. Went out by 79 ish or so then the si the 12 si series came on but this is really good early alternator a lot of vehicles still have this out there it's got that two inch mounting foot the six o'clock 12 o'clock mount and the 10 si from all the others can be told because the 10 si is going to have all these little holes in here it's got these three slots the next one after this the 12 si had great big windows in here the 10 si will have these three slots and these five holes in here like this and that is the 10SI series. What we're going to show here is how to load the brush holder. Uh, and what to really look for. Here is uh, your brush holder. This is your brush holder assembly. And let's say you get a brush holder like this all in pieces. Well, you know, you know all the details on putting it together. So we're just going to quick go together and put this brush holder. So first you get your brush holder. And you've got your springs, of course. And uh, you want to put your... Uh, you're, you want to make sure you get the, the proper brush into the proper slot. Now this first brush, it's got clips over here. Make sure that clips in there. See? And then you put your spring in. Push the spring down in. Push the brush down in. And then you take your little metal clear, your little wire, and you push that on top of that brush. Then you take your second brush spring and you push that down in. You always gotta make sure that you get it into the right direction. Now these can be put in wrong. The wire the wire on these is at one end of the brush. So you gotta make sure that when you're inserting that that you put the wire uh, the closest side of the wire down, you don't want to get these upside down because it's going to be put in either way, either right side up or upside down. So you got to make sure that wire stays down towards the bottom and you push that down in there, work it down in, and then you can put your wire clip through and shove it through and then that holds that in there. Then you can take your other brush and clip it on oops get it into that little clip there slider down in it's got a little notch thing here it locks into then now all these tennis eye brushes brush holders have to have this little clip that goes on the back and that snaps right over there that's where the grounding goes through so you got to make sure that your brush holder has this middle middle clip and here's the last little detail on loading up these brushes that a lot of people don't go over and these are a tip from the rebuilder I've been in this a very long time is once you get your brush holder loaded, these little wires that come in, first you want to inspect them, make sure you got the you got the wire in towards the, uh, in the proper way so the most of the brush sticks up to the top and the wires down at the bottom part. Then also you got to make sure that these wires are not pushed forward. These wires are pushed forward like this as your rotor spins around real close to this. As your brushes wear down and come out, that wire will hit your rotor, your slip rings on your rotor, the slip rings will cut that wire off and your alternator will quit. So you always make sure that you push that wire back, that it's back on both sides. Make sure those wires are pushed all down and then you're, you're all set to load this into your alternator and away you go. Thank you.